Welcome to Bernina Toolbox. In this video, we will review what the My Toolbox section entails. My Toolbox is one of the buttons on the bottom left of your screen when you open the software. When you click on My Toolbox, you will access your account information. That is the information you provided when you first signed up with the software. So at the top, you could see you could change your password. Bear in mind that every time you make a change to your account information, there will be a confirmation email sent to verify that the email address you're providing indeed works and that it is yours, that you can check it and confirm it. Uh, you can edit your profile. This is where you will change the information as your name, your address, your location and so on. When you are done filling the form, you can uh, return to the menu. You can change your email address alone without editing the whole profile. You can activate modules. If you only purchase one or two modules at the beginning, if you acquire future modules, you can come here and act activate them. The way this is done is you simply input the module code that came on the card that you purchased and that will activate this portion of the software. You can deactivate this computer. Uh, make a note of the nuance. The word activation usually refers to activating modules, enabling them. But you also, when you install the software, by default, you are activating that computer. You can run Toolbox on two computers at the same time. For instance, at home, I have my big computer downstairs and I may have my laptop in my sewing room. So I could run Toolbox on both computers at the same time if I want to work on something downstairs while something is sewing upstairs. So the deactivation is to deactivate the computer itself, which means it will free up that one license so that you could install and run Toolbox on another computer, let's say if you purchase a new laptop for Christmas. Uh, the support tab will actually give you access to a dialog box where you can enter uh, support requests if you have issues, let's say for some reason the software is crashed on your computer or something does not appear normal in its behavior, you could go there. There is also, for all Bernina support of any kind, there is also Bernina.com slash help as the URL you can use for software support and also if you suspect there's an issue with your, uh, your machines. Of course, your first best port of call is always contacting your local Bernina dealer. The settings tab will take you to just a couple of items. One is what is your preferred system of measurement. If you prefer working in metric units, you can do that, or you can work in inches if you prefer. There is, when you start Toolbox, you've noticed that there's a small window that appears in front of Toolbox and that is called the Quick Start Guide. After you've seen it a few times and if you have followed the steps that it suggests, you probably will not need it anymore. At that point, you can uncheck this box here and the Quick Start Guide will no longer open up when you start the software. That will save you a step. When you are done, you can return to the menu. And that is it for the options. Notice that below here, at the bottom left, you have Start Toolbox and you can close the software at the same time. You will not be using these options very often on average, but they are very useful if you ever change your email address. For instance, you can come here and modify your account. When you do keep your account up to date, that also maintains your access to the Bernina Cloud, where you can upload and download designs uh, for your convenience. You can see here that I have all the modules activated. I have the bundle installed on my computer. It's showing a green check mark here. If any of the modules were not purchased yet on your computer, you would see an activated buy button so that you could actually acquire them directly from here. That is it for my toolbox.